every living thing needs food to survive, whether it is single or multi-cell. A food chain shows what eats what in an environment. Multiple food chains create a whole entire food web. This whole chain reaction starts off with the sun. Its light is taken in by the producers to create glucose and oxygen. Then the next trophic level, the primary consumers, eat the producers because they are herbivores. By the time the primary consumers end up eating the producers, only 10% of the energy is passed on. The rest is lost as heat in the environment. The next trophic level are the secondary consumers. They are the ones that eat the primary consumers because they are only carnivores. This fox. What does the fox say? What the fox say? Ends up eating this poor innocent squirrel. Trophic level are the tertiary consumers because they are omnivores, which means they pretty much eat meat and plants. As you can see, the cheetah is trying to hunt down that fox. Now, there may be times there might be a quaternary consumer, but it's very rarely and it does happen. It's usually only up to a tertiary consumer. Of course, this that I just showed you is a food chain, but food webs consist of more organisms in them, which means there are more primary, secondary, and tertiary consumers, even up to quaternary consumers. A food web is more complex than a food chain, just because there are more organisms involved in it, so you would see different arrows drawn across. And so that is all for my video, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye, everyone. Bam. I'm done.